Hello, folks, and welcome back to the stream. Uh, I am one of your three hosts, Captain Drusif, here on my channel. We will be playing some Dungeons & Dragons again after a two-week break, much to the chagrin of our followers, or follower. Uh, Dark Lord's Fury 2 coming at you, fiendish boogaloo, live from America's America. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to our Dungeon Master, God-fearing Tiki. And uh, he's going to give a bit of background. We'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, thank you so much for the introduction. Okay, so uh, last we left off, the adventurers were told uh, by the Oracle to head to Osthurst, the capital of Karodia. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an island filled with bandits, thieves, riffraff. I'm sorry, <laughs> ruffians and riffraff. Same thing, same thing, right? With his, you know, no. <laughs> Um, oh, let's get our let's get our henchman correct here. <laughs> right, right. He is a he's not a henchman. I mean, he's a leader of the henchmen. Of okay, okay. Um, anyways, um, so they they went to a small uh, uh, village, found a captain uh, by the name of Captain Songs Steel, uh, and chartered passage to Osthurst. However, on the way there, they encountered several. Uh, 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 vagabonds, not vagabonds, uh, pirates, and <laughs> they were uh, shipwrecked on a uncharted island just off of the coast of Corodia. There is no song steel to be seen. The raptor is in shambles, and the cabin boy. Well, we don't know what happened to him either. The adventurers scoured the land and came across several remaining or several bodies. Uh, attacked several kobolds and uh, survived through those battles and have now found themselves in the kobold den, uh, which is where uh, this takes us to uh, right now. My goodness, you were having a lot of fun with the emojis there. <laughs> and I'll interject as well. We, we have decided to unmask ourselves, at least two of us. We still have a mysterious... <laughs> I'm um, so big in the middle. I love it. Yeah, it's it's like the other two don't even matter. But um yeah. So take that for so, what for what you will. Moving, moving right along to where we left off, I'll I'll provide a little bit of uh I guess insight. Um so the adventurers just finished killing some of the kobolds in this alcove. Um now, I, I'd like to remind you that if you see a door, don't place your character on the other side of the door. I'm still working out the kinks of the dynamic work. lighting. Um, so I'll, I'll move your character through the door if you successfully open it. Okay. If that makes sense. Yep. Okay. So the adventurers move. Oh. I see something. What's, what's in this crate over here? It's a vampire. Oh. Um, well, I don't know about that. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, this two might, vampires. This might be a. So they come across three kobolds in the the barracks room of or barracks section of the cave. Let me get some numbers down real quick. <laughs> um, you have caught them by surprise, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that you guys will attack first. Okay. We yeah we were quiet. Blunt didn't use his uh his his shoulder this time so. Well, luckily there was no door. I actually don't see them yet. Um, they're on the, on the That's left. That's because they haven't attacked us yet. Okay, well, I can't really... I, I guess I kind of... Oh, there, there's purple aura, dude. Uh, oh, man, we should we should get the guy in the middle blunt, I whisper. He looks like a healer mage type. Because he's got the purple saying. stuff around him. <laughs> That's right. the only reason I think that. He looks like Prince. So, Drew, go ahead and go first. Okay, I will, uh, with my first attack, I will cast on the middle uh, kobold, as we've determined. I'll just do a simple hellish rebuke. Hey. That's the highest roll you've done <laughs> since the last game. You're not kidding. Well done. <laughs> it's great, right? Fire, as you uh, posted in the chat a while ago. Goldilocks points his fingers at his foe and 
and his foe is scoured in hellish flames, stoked by his own anger and pain. Deals five damage. Cinco. Shankmare. Scarlet I, Pimpernel is a good movie. You also watch it. it. I'm impressed by Goldie's attack on these creatures, and so I do a sure strike on <laughs> the blue one. Oh. While he strikes, I play a, di a little ditty on my leg with some spoons tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick to, to increase his spirits. You can see it because you're on camera. <laughs> Uh, um, so with his first strike, with his uh, scimitar, he uh, cuts <laughs> through part of the clavicle of the kobold and deals a whopping nine damage. Is this guy dead yet? No. Jesus. Okay. Well, I guess yes. it's their turn now. Uh oh. It's goofy time. So it begins. All right. So just going down top to bottom. Top. To, oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. North to south, some might say. Uh, Blunt, what is your AC? Uh. High. It is. My AC is twenty-three. Oh, I just get his little image there. That's probably for the best. And uh, Goldie. Uh, my AC is... Two. Dun, dun, dun. No, it's not that bad. Five. Okay, so my 10 plus half a level, 13. Your AC is 13? Mm-hmm. I mean, yes. look, if you look at the yep. stream... I'm looking. I'm looking right now. There's two <laughs> viewers of the stream. We're expecting it to... With my ability... <laughs> now that there's a live camera, you should put a live camera in your title. I mean, that'll, that'll I don't know. attract more viewers. Yeah, yeah, you're at 13. Good lord. Does it really? I don't think that attracts viewers. I um, think so. See, even even the guy in the chat agrees. Oh, I wonder who that is. Um. <laughs> Let the record be known that the person in the chat is blunt. Well, yeah, it's, I fight windmills everywhere, so yeah. It's, it's, our uh, biggest fan. It would attract our family. A conflict of interest. Our familia would like it. All right, like take your okay. Hot, now, hot face cam. We're we're reaching peak lame here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> take your shirt off. Oh man! Wow, it's getting it's getting spicy. All right, so back to the cobalt. He swings, not swings. He stabs violently at blunt. Unfortunately, his spear just caresses right past him, doing no damage. Hey -o. The mage, however, targets the, his opponent, the other uh, magician, and... Mage on mage. Uh, what, is, what is your reflex, Goldie? Uh, my reflex, as I'm just... Adjusting my camera. Um, Fourteen. Yeah, so he's just gonna go ahead and hit you with an energy orb. Uh, it is one ten sided die. It's ten thirteen damage. Now you remember, <gasps> it's a new day, so go ahead and give your guys his full health. I'm at th I'm, my, I'm at thirty two, I think. Right, that's my max. Hey Drew. Yeah. You know what you can do. Right click on your picture, and I think you can put focus this person. Where's that? And you can put your face as the top billing. In the, uh, in the Discord? Or you can put, um, yeah, in Discord. Or right click on mine and unclick show on gamer games tab. Oh, or okay. Uh, no, wait, never mind. I, I'll, I'll do this later. Um, Sorry. I, no, no, you're good. We'll troubleshoot I'm it. I'm playing because, you know, I didn't get hit, so I had to do something while I was waiting for you to get smacked in the face. I like Don Quixote as our uh, mascot anyways. Uh, I, I want to see you better. <laughs> so there was... Uh, this minus... Did he think the, the windmills were something that he needed a to... A dragon. 
He it was, was dragons, fighting. Right? Um, it was dragons that he was fighting for a barmaid that did not ask for it. Well, yes, the Dutch. I mean, basically, he's a sad man who's been. They're basically the French with a weirder Donald. language and worse food. Spanish. He's Spanish. Spanglish. So I'm I, talking about the Dutch. I'm, so I don't care about Spanish. I'm at 19 HP. Wow. Yikes. Well, you hit me for 13, right? Yep. Yeah, so... Clothy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit you with a spear on the cobalt to the uh, to the very bottom. Why are you targeting the clothy? What? I guess I had initial aggro. I don't know if aggro works that way in this game. Ah, oh, shiza. Uh, uh, two. It does two damage. Okay, I'll, I'll take that off in a second. All right. Um, if I use a potion, does that count as my turn? Uh, that is a minor action. Okay. So you can you a major action would be uh, attacking. Okay. A minor action would be doing the potion or moving. Okay. So like, I forget what the actual ratio is, but cut your speed in half, and then you can take your potion. As I drink my potion. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, so I, I think I have a health potion here. Yeah, don't show the don't show the label. They haven't paid us for that. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna hold off. I think I could take. I feel like those are pretty high hits. Um, yeah, you'll be fine. I'll be, be fine. fine. All right, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I wish we knew. Like if that. we kill the mage, if we kill that mage, I think the other two buggers. Because I'm seeing you look at your hand full of fire and a potion, and you're like looking back and forth. And I look over <laughs> like, and I go, "Dude, we just need to kill the blue guy, and then it'll be fine." Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, do we continue to attack old blue here? I say continue to attack old blue. Okay, well, let's let's hit old blue here with a uh, an eldritch blast. It's actually more like a. Hey, okay, that sucked. It's so, like an octopus. <laughs> that really sucked. Yeah, on on your roll. Oh, here we go. On your roll, you you critically failed, and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say you missed, and you hit something. I don't know if you can see it. Let me go to your stream. You haven't. You don't see it yet. You hit something in the back. Uh, that is sounds valuable. So we hear a big oh, crash. Oh no. <laughs> we hear a crash, and I look over, and I'm like. All I see is this tentacle come out of a teleport and then just break something and then go back into teleport. And I'm like, what the heck was that? <laughs> yeah. What uh, the heck is that? And so Jesus. I'm a little pissed off. And well, so I mean, I I'm not happy either, frankly. But I do a tide of iron. I'm going to shield bash this blue guy. He didn't even attack us, did he? Oh, no, he tried to hit... Uh, Blunt, I forgot about that. The blue guy After hit you. Each of his mighty swings, Blunt brings his shield to bear and pushes it against the enemy, pushing the enemy back and dealing 11 damage. Okay. Did I knock him out? No, he's just kind of... Holy he's... crap, this dude's stacked. Wait, wait, wait. Were you hitting the blue guy or the guy on top? The blue guy. Okay. Wrong way. Wait. wait. <laughs> I push him. I push him towards. Me. I was like, wait a second. I wanted to give you some space. Maybe some of the spells won't work for him now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or if we can't see him, maybe he won't hit us. I or need he... every advantage I can possibly maybe get. Maybe he fell on all the broken stuff and stabbed himself to death because you broke something, and it was all meta. Maybe. <laughs> we, need a, we need a close up camera now. You need two cameras. We need camera one and camera two. There we go. That's a... No, but you need to do the streamer thing, which is like. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you see that? That's the next step is I'm going to get a soundboard so I can you know, play a bunch of uh, yeah. you know, meme sounds. I'll get a ukulele. All right, uh, where were we? Okay. I think I just canceled out. Uh... Roll 20. Yep, fine. Yes, you did. All right. 
<laughs> well, this has been fun. Um, hold on. Now Firefox wants to update. I accidentally closed out of everything. I apologize, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please excuse us as we're dealing some technical difficulties. Good or <laughs> This stream has been awesome. It's a hot dumpster fire. It was a dumpster fire before it began. It's been a dumpster fire since what, the start. Windmills, is, this, is there the an emoji for dumpster fire? Play with the camera now. Play with the camera. All right, folks. Yeah, now, uh, not this camera. The camera thing, so you could be in the middle, so we can get a, a uh, nice big... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, let's do that. Oh, gosh. I keep... Okay, there we go. Uh, let me let me see if I can get this done here. Boop, boop, boop. And, ladies and gentlemen, we're back live here. Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Out of... Yeah, that's not working. I don't know where our server is. Hello. We don't have a server. No, no, I said I don't know where my server is. You don't have a server. I have a server. Okay. All right. He's, so. he's backhagging the government. So the spearman once again misses. The uh, the uh, the mage actually, to be more specific, he is a a, a worm priest. Ooh. Uh, that's spelled W Y R N. Uh, yes. Uh, like we've never played a fantasy game in my life. Uh, Blunt, what is your reflex? <laughs> Glossing over that. <laughs> uh, reflex is fifteen. Ooh, actually, yeah, that's that's more than enough. Okay, so he misses, and then once God. again. Uh, this this little guy's gonna move up, and he's actually gonna keep his target on uh, Baldy. I mean Goldie. Um, hey, it's not my fault. Your hair burned off in a fire. Well, uh... who started the fire? Let's let's be real here. Let's let's do some character development, Mister May. We're in the middle of a battle. This isn't this this is high sea time. Yeah, this is, is not. Yeah, he's he's going over to the window of the cave, and he's. It was. It all started about 15 years ago. No, uh, I make up my own lore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I checked the Wikipedia, and it's still not done. We have I, a Wikipedia. Yeah, I didn't really. No. <laughs> a Wikipedia. Not. Not yet. Oh the God. Cat and Drew's of Wikipedia. Okay. What, what does anyway, okay, what does yeah, he so do? He... <laughs> what, who is your daddy, and what does he do? He thrusts his, thrust his spear, and it, it. Have you guys ever seen Ace Ventura? Uh, no. When the spear goes into the. Only nineties in... kids. You know what? The spear goes into your leg. You take four damage. <laughs> so I just keep doing these sweet rolls and jumps. To dodge that one t attack, I did the splits in the air. I jumped really high, and I split in the air, and I came down. Yeah. All right, I, I look over. I look over at, and he's staring off in the distance, about to do some lore, and then he just gets stabbed in the meaty part of a thigh. <laughs> hey, I wasn't gonna do lore. The DM started that. <laughs> then the lizard lore. stopped him from lore. So it's so easy to fall into the trap of the dungeons part, or I'm sorry. The dragons part of Dungeons and Dragons. I like the dungeons part. Why are you there? Why did you guys go into this cave? Okay, well, because uh, I told you to. No, because you're adventurers at heart. Well, I, I think you. we were, and we needed stuff. All right. And no one was helping. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we're we're abandoned. You know, like usual, it's like our whole life, basically. Oh, um, my. <laughs> we haven't I, banded each other yet. No, that's the only yeah. constant. Well, you guys, you guys are joint venturous on on TGI Fridays. I mean, well, okay, that that's just a side business. I mean, honestly, I don't. Are think... gonna have? I, I have a question now um, for certain viewers. Um, are you gonna have like gluten free and vegetarian options at TGI Fridays, or is this gonna be like no like, slaughterhouse? Well, I mean, we're gonna have well, appetizers. It was gluten free, but I have a feeling that the guy we left in charge, uh -huh. he's he's it's gonna run to the ground. Like it ain't it ain't gonna be there when we get. We back. weren't. Did you confident. guys hire someone out of the city that was completely destroyed by the army of the dam? Yeah, we yeah. hired the guy uh, who was in charge of the dirty he, hag. He was free. 
I mean, what do I? I mean. Oh, that's right. You guys bought his his crummy little prostitution ring after you guys told him like, hey, how much for her? And he's like, that was my daughter. It's like, well, maybe don't raise her in a brothel. That's um, that's accurate. But back to the battle. Um, <laughs> I like I like these little intersections. I'm gonna yes, back like, to the the. These are these are all thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. These are just thoughts that are kind of caressing through the minds of of the adventurers. Anywho, the dude that just attacked me, he gets a hellish rebuke because it seems to be the only thing that can land a hit. I wonder if there's something wrong with. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, so he hits and he does four damage against. Which one were you going against? The one that's attacking you directly? Yeah, the one that just stabbed me in the thigh or whatever. So once again, Goldilocks points his fingers at his foe, and his foe is scoured in hellish flames, stoked by his own anger and pain. Pain of fire, incidentally. I love how that, all of that only does four damage. So, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty because, elaborate. Because Blunt, I'm sorry, because Goldilocks is injured, uh, the flames burst into life one more time before they fade away. And the target deals an additional five damage. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the next turn. I'm just going to go ahead and just give it to him on this one. kind of <laughs> need some help. Uh. Well, well, that was all great for four damage. Let's see what this <laughs> <play. laughs> I really Let's pounded sand here. Look what a blade can do, son. It's 31 versus AC. Six damage. And I, I attack the one that poked my friend in the thigh. You know, I don't... I don't it's it's weird. It's... Uh, I want to take a look at y'all's macros for your rolls. I, I, I want to verify to make sure that they're, they're counting up correctly. Yeah, they're um, counting up fine for me. I mean, the damage for, for Drew just seems really, really low. That's because it's magic. Uh, I mean, what level am I? Well, see, it's supposed to be the opposite. Well, I, I have myself listed as a four. Yeah, I'm a four, too. I think it's just you're using your little baby spells. We need some level T. I mean, you're using your tier one spells. Well, my other spells are like you AoE once per battle. Well, maybe you should open a book. Okay, so how about this? Too. How about this? Because it is only the two of you, and it is literally... a. a uh, a damage and a tank roll like it why why don't i uh, if you let me rephrase this if you use aoe i will not damage uh your teammate or allies unless you roll a critical fail do you want to take that risk with my life it's literally it's uh, a one out i mean of i'll one. take that yeah but and that way, well, that way you can actually come, uh... use the spell and you can get some damage instead of just doing hellish rebuke and uh, eldritch blast over and over again. Well, I'm just looking at. Let's see. Chat wants to know when we're going to get a house tour. Uh, Cribs hasn't made its way here yet. Um... <laughs> it, it also didn't make its way out of the 20th century. No, that's true. <laughs> All right. Let's see, macro one d twenty plus power minus one attack versus. No, that's power one attack. Power versus power one defense. Hit one times power one weapon number dice. I'll let me just go through it on my own. Okay, that's fine. You you <laughs> built the macro. I'm really not familiar with the the language. It's. It's not super complicated, but it's not. But it's it's nice to have like two screens where like one is the code and the other's what the code is. Yeah, so we'll just be. we'll just go from here. I mean, I, I feel like uh, I, I don't know what the deal is, but ooh, sorry, bumped y'all. Bad luck. Yeah, but at any rate, uh, what does what does Blunt do with his attack? Oh, he Wait, does. I already, I already attacked. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. That's what I mean. Did What's I the result? The, did I kill the creature? No. Who, which creature were you attacking? The one, the that... one that stabbed my friend. Yeah. Oh. Um. 
No. <laughs> what is with these creatures? They're half our size. He is bloody, though. I about time. <laughs> He's on he fire, on and I sliced his arm. Now, you just kind of went into his... You went into this part. I, I don't know anatomy. Um, <laughs> Shoulder blade. <laughs> shoulder that's, that's blade. Here. Into the collarbone. Like, clavicle? Thing that holds your shoulder. <laughs> This. Oh. this. The shoulder blade's in the back. Yeah. Oh, but the the sh yeah your your collarbone <laughs> and possible arteries. Wait, clavicles here, collarbones here, muscles here. <laughs> yes. The... Uh, okay. Thank God we got these cameras. Jack o' lantern, cookie. What is what is that? Uh, Are we sponsored by them? No. Get it off the screen. Nobody knows who made these. It was H-E-B. You just... <laughs> They're actually pretty crappy cookies. I, I'm only eating them because <laughs> well, I bought them. Well, now we're never going to get sponsored. Well, there Whoa. goes our H-E-B sponsor. Okay, we and... A... Two of these cookies is like 200 based... calories. We could have been a Texas-based D&Ds. No. I, I mean, I love H-E-B. Um, but these cookies are not their greatest. Wow. So... Even though I'm eating them. Uh, they're not bad. They're edible. But that's kind of... So anyways, the lizards, <laughs> they, uh, we are barely on task today. <laughs> Distracted. You no, know, I, I, I said that this wasn't going to take too long. Um, this is going to take forever. <laughs> We're never going to end. We got... <laughs> hmm. At least I got cookies. Oh, I'm trying to eat... Oh, sorry. All right, um, I'm not mocking you, oh, audience, yeah. just my okay, fellow I'm presenters. Okay, it's, it's my turn. This is all on me. I am so sorry. Um, so the kobold to the top first. Uh, once again with his spear, he misses because maybe he had a little bit too much to drink last night. Maybe well, we did wake him up. Well, yeah, well, it is the daytime. They, they're night people. They're the night shift. Are the they? night shift. Probably. We killed all the day shift. <laughs> they were asleep. <laughs> That's funny. Because they're in a cave, they didn't hear the screams of agony and uh, throwing fire and trying to figure out. So, okay, that guy misses. That guy misses, yeah. Uh, the, the mage. Um, the worm mage dude. He is going to fire his energy orb at the dragonborn. That's cheating. He's not even on screen. Well, he has, I mean, a ranged attack, so. There, there we go. go. That's he, not cheating. He, he exists. He's just. cheating. In the darkness. Alright, well. He does seven damage. Ew. To who? To you. To, you. to me? Yeah, to you. No. Alright. I'm, I'm planning an AoE attack. Because we got to start bringing these guys down. You said this out loud, and so the cobalt decides to spread out. Well, there's still one more cobalt. Nice. Like... Nice. <sighs> you're, you're, like, you're like doing Dragon Ball Z crap. Area of effect attack. <laughs> 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 They don't speak. They don't speak my language. I couldn't seduce them. So fuck you. <laughs> but he. But he uses a code. He doesn't say area of effect. He just he, says. He actually talks in Morse code. No, he just says warehouse. I wasn't allowed to seduce the kobolds because they don't speak your language. They don't know I'm saying AOE. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point. He's got a point. But he also uses code because he says warehouse, glass factory. <laughs> And I know, oh, and I know from, our back lore, from our back lore, I know what that means. I mean, that means everything's getting lit up. He's got a point, though, about that seduction. If we can't seduce him, he can't be tactical. However, those were <laughs> other lizards. So maybe we could seduce these guys. We should have maybe tried that. We stumped them. We stumped them already. You know, they're very lonely kobolds. Oh, damn. I don't so want. Just kind of go. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let's take it slow. All right. Why don't we go out 
couple <laughs> drinks. Get to know uh, one another. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. We should Do never call a camera. This was his idea, and I let him do it. Oh, what a surprise. Now you know why, because it's, it's more personal. It's wonderful. <laughs> the on-screen right, personality. So the third cobalt misses hitting you in a crotch with a spear. What the hell? <laughs> I said he misses, but just know he's He's, he's, he's aiming for the crotchal region? Well, he's only, he's short. I'm going, personal, I'm going straight for the cloaca, then. I, I don't even want to That's know. That's an amphibious that I don't want duct. to know. It sounds very coarse, <laughs> it, it, whatever it, it contains is. contains both male and, and female genitalia. Yeah, I'm not going to. So, anyways, reproductive uh, organs, whatever. Goldie, you're up. All right. Screw you. Screw you. This guy's cool. I'm casting Eldritch Rain on, uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter, because they're both within range of each other. Uh, the, the melee guides, mainly. I don't know if that'll affect the uh, the caster. but does, does it by chance say what the uh, area is? Uh, let me take a look here. Give me the name again. I'll look it up. It's called Eldritch Rain. Level Eldritch 3. Rain. Uh, dun, dun, dun. You're a warlock? Yes. Yeah. He is a warlock. I'm a, a scourge warlock. A half elf scourge warlock. And I am. Uh... Oh gosh, what is my demeanor? I can't remember oh, if, I, if I'm neutral, good. What, what did I say? Uh, so, Eldritch Range is a level 3 encounter spell. Uh, it targets one creature or two creatures, but no more than five squares apart from one another. Okay. So it is a charisma attack versus reflex. And you are attacking, I'm assuming, the melee, which reflexes are because you actually last I think last game you successfully uh rolled a nature check, so you, you get all you are privy to this information. Uh yeah. their reflex is fourteen, so you have to beat fourteen. Which I did not. Oh no, that would have been good. Well, the good news is you didn't use it, so you can use it again. And I didn't critically fail either, which is what I was afraid of. Which is good, but yeah. So since it didn't do any damage, I'll let you use it again. Okay. Well, sorry, Blunt. <laughs> so what did I see? Did I see like a... It's like a little... <laughs> I saw a oh, tentacle uh... argue with you and go back into the... <sighs> Eldritch Rain, you fire purple rays of Eldritch power at his boat. So I'm literally shooting like little purple rays out of my my hands. But they all just fizzled and land at your toes. It, it kind of reminds me of like uh, Arcane... What is it from World of Warcraft? Arcane Blast? I don't think it's... Is it Blast? Because it, yeah, it would do a like... Power, a warlock power. The, I mean, that's a mage power. Um, warlocks and... They've got like Shadow Bolt and DOTs, All but right. anyways. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that because I saw that you said area of effect <laughs> and they spread out, uh, my key senses were like, wait, maybe I can talk to them. And so I look into the darkness for wherever the blue one is and I drop my sword. And I go down to one knee and I try to raise uh. and say... My dearest, I did not mean to attack. This is we foreshadowed. Are, we are like, stranded, and I and again I, I I'll uh, wait. And what would that role be? Would that be diplomacy? <laughs> You're gonna befriend the kobolds. The blue one. I don't give a crap about the other ones. <laughs> the, the the. I'm going to allow this. The, the what a rare player. occurrence. Um, let the, me take a look. So, I think... Diplomacy? Would you really call it diplomacy if you're hitting on someone? I think so. I, I think this the is more of a charisma check. Oh, just a charisma? Just a straight charisma? Okay, I'll do that too. Right? Raper over here. 
Let's see what he gets. Get your whiskey neat. Ooh. 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 Uh. Blunt don't do words too great. No. <laughs> 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 Because I started off by saying, hey, I know we killed a lot of you guys out here. What happened? What was the role? That's like my opening line. I don't have a lot of money. Is that a three? <laughs> he showed the audience. All right. Well, uh, this obviously was not planned for. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. Okay. Right, so the, the kobold comes from the shadows. The other kobolds stop their attacks as they're snarling and snapping at each other. And he goes in for an embrace. And as I as I hold him close, I pull out a little dagger. Where what little dagger? Do you have a little dagger? I don't I don't think you have a little dagger. Uh, hang on. Let me check my inventory. You're not gonna beat me in a roll where you're gonna <laughs> things to a mythical creature. No, I'm going to... Oh, gosh. I I put my shield behind me because it still has ten cobalt hands and one blue cobalt hand, which is really awkward. And... <laughs> I killed your brother. I... Here's... As I... Because, again, I'm on my knees and I'm going in for a hug and then I just take my left hand to grab my sword underneath... And I'm going to try to sneakily stab him, basically from underneath his armpit into his head, while I'm hugging him. Okay, so... Um, what role would that be? That would be... Uh, let me take a look at your character sheet real quick, and I'm, yes. I might be able to do it for you. Um, Is it sneak? Stealth? No, it's, it's going to be an actual physical attack against my reflex. So, give me a second, real quick. Character sheet, because it, it's not like an actual uh, ability or spell. It is. Yeah, no, we're off the we're off the beat path a bit. But because it's so close, I feel like it's going to be either an insta kill or I'm going to get bit in the face. <laughs> uh, one second. I got to look up the actual weapon. It's a scimitar, right? Yes, it's a. One-handed scimitar. One-handed scimitar. Oh yeah. See, you thought I was gonna do something gross, but instead, I'm gonna kill this guy, and I think it's going to intimidate the other two, and maybe they'll run away or help us find our way home. I can't believe I'm doing this. So, uh, it could have just been a reflection. You could have just done reflection against... No, reflex, not reflection. Or, yeah, that's what I said, reflection. Okay, <laughs> get some hot cookie action right now. Oh, yeah. Cookie ASMR. Coming at you. three rounds in 30 minutes. It's been, uh, really eventful. So blunt sword bottle foot, as he's going in for the embrace, closes his eyes, fully garners the trust, or fully gathers the trust of the kobold. Yes. In one swift movement, collects his scimitar across his chest and slices oh. the kobold in half. For the record, the blood splattered right into Goldie's face. Why would you put that on the opposite me? of the direction of the physics? Yeah. I'm going to allow this. Oh, no, God. I do, a, I, do a, I do a spin. I do a whole Crap. spin, and I do like an anime thing where you go, <laughs> and, I and thought, you I, be done it's a full, hour. I thought it's you a did Bapa Booey. It's a full 360 blood trail. So it hits the lizards, it hits Goldie, it hits hey, everything. Hey. And then Careful. zoom in on my face. <laughs> That's exactly. That's going to be like half the episode is just zooming in, screaming. Because <laughs> Goldie first was like, is he going to have a relationship with this blue one? I don't know how that's going to work. He has dead arms all over. And then you see that and you're just like in horror. <laughs> I mean, this is the weirdest timeline. 
somehow even less weird than me trying to seduce these guys up on the surface. I guess the qui- the cave dwelling kobolds speak uh, common or elvish. Well, you know, they're a little bit more clever, or else they'd be out in the sun all day. Yeah. Keck. LOL. Okay, so uh, who's... Uh... Whose turn is it? Is it? I don't even turn? know. I've, I've lost complete it's... track. Complete. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I believe it's your turn. Too. Mine? Well, don't the other guys have to no, attack? No, the other lizards. What do they do? Oh, are they, they in shock? Are they caught off guard? Are they in shock? Are they, they caught off guard? Do I get to sneak in an attack? Like initiative? They're not caught off guard. Oh, okay. Okay. Because uh... we have to kill these. They, we can't have this story get First out. First one misses his spear throw once again. They're just they're. The second one misses as well. They're just guarded. bewildered. They're just shocked at what occurred in front of them. So that was they, a disadvantaged they, roll. Um, they saw their leader for 15 years they fall really in didn't love. Like him. You know, upper management in these caves. It's I really guess that's true. Unstructured and uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of benefits. They don't even have dental. Oh, they got a lot of teeth. All right, right. Like, Drew, you your turn. That's like priority numero uno, and they also use it for like killing things. You know, it's not like they're just using teeth for eating. I uh, I cast Elder Train one more time. I, oh. I do a little. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and boom. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. He what did happened? it. He did it. I beat the reflex. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Thank something. god. I beat the reflex. You'd be proud of me, Dad. So, did you kill them both? Uh. No? I don't know. I don't know. So, now I'm, I'm really keyed up. <laughs> so, I mean, I have blood all over, blood's everywhere. There's a dead body at my feet, and so I just do dragon's breath at the one right in front of me. Cook him. Oh no. So it is red. It's outlined in red for reflex, but his damage was green. Is yeah. that a critical fail? Oh man. It's a critical fail with a crit. So you know what that means, blunt. That means I hurt you. <laughs> that means I am... Or I hurt myself. I think I hurt myself. I, I have 13 hit points, so I will so survive you actually, this. You actually cough. You're in the middle of your, your blast there, and uh, you burn your feet, and it forces you to the ground. Uh, probably for a just punch. God, this is an for... awful fight. <laughs> We're not doing well. No. So I'm on the ground. You've missed... You had one good attack at the beginning. Yeah. At least we had a sweet moment where I seduced a guard and then killed him. <laughs> I, I completely yeah, blacked out that section. I just. Oh, you're, I'm thinking about the guard back in Glass Fay. You guys were like, "Hey, we know this is attack, but." No, that was. I couldn't. I couldn't step on Drew's territory. <laughs> what humans? <laughs> I was gonna say uh, male humans, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just... type. Apparently, I've been defined as a cub. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's not big enough to be a bear. Yeah. He's too big to be a twink. He's in between. He's a cub. Oh. Anyways, um, he's a teddy. so he, what is the? So he hits his foot. What? What does that? How much damage is that? Uh, let's just go ahead and say it's three. You just. <sighs> Scour at the top of your feet, and it kind of brings you down to a knee. Doesn't put you in a coup de grace situation. No, uh, I'm done with thirty health. Words. How oh, much health? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. <laughs> I'm at thirteen, motherfucker. <laughs> Get good, son. <laughs> maybe, maybe don't lead the charge every I, time. I didn't lead the charge. We were neck and neck, I, but apparently I pulled aggro. <laughs> you pull aggro because you're on fire and you're throwing tentacles at them. What do you think they're going to attack? They told uh, whatever. Regardless, Obviously they thought I was attractive. Okay. Blunt did his turn. What do these scrubby dubbies do to us? The 
can't die. Ooh. Ooh. So, uh, the first one at the top, uh, the skirmisher is going to use his spear and finally uh, hit Blunt for a little number here. Two damage. Oh, okay. And then oh. uh, the one of the south just can't seem to get his, his stuff together and misses once again. All right. Um, I target the southern kobold, and I will be casting... Um... <laughs> Elders Blast. You do that in in the game as in my in the character as well. Boob. Oh, <laughs> <I don't laughs> uh, crit roll, crit. I hope it. I hope it hits. That's gotta kill him. I mean, if it hits. If it hits, it's thirteen against reflex. The, the reflex is thirteen. No. Or do I have to beat thirteen? You have to beat thirteen. No, you have to match fourteen. I thought you said thirteen. Uh, go, whatever. Go up to your recent spell that hit fourteen versus reflex. Well, I thought I was ahead of thirteen. <laughs> so. Ah. Uh, no, reflex fourteen. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Gee, what oh my the gosh. <laughs> I'm about to... I was to... about to be, oh, about to be pissed yeah, for him. him. Oh, God. That's the first crit you've had in like two seasons. <laughs> there wasn't a crit, though. It's green. What's kind of funny, Blunt, is well, at the like, beginning of this adventure we met each other and it's really only been like maybe a couple weeks like <laughs> it's, it's, yeah i know it's been in the game it's been maybe two weeks and we've killed 150 people <laughs> no because we did some traveling you did some I'd drugs a month. you killed yeah. some uh vagabonds here and there yeah so, yeah along the way highwaymen you know oh, that yeah, kind of thing yeah uh, so uh traveling the first, the first number is outlined in green or if you just scroll over and it says, you know, the first number that he rolls is a 20, then it's a critical. I don't know why. It, basically, when his damage shows that green number, which if you scroll over the 15, it says 10. He yeah. rolled, out of a, on a 10-sided die, he rolled a 10. He rolled the right. best possible amount of damage. So right. that, well, the most you can do is... 15 at this moment. Oh, it's a crit if it's the whatever attack. Alright. So if he fine. were to roll, hypothetically... What do we call that then? We need to call it something, because it's something to call out. Max damage? Max damage? Max D? Max E D? Max a million. Alright, so which one died? The one next to you? Is this one still alive? He's dead. He already moved him out of the way. Alright, so... I'm like, nice. And so I... <laughs> I dust myself off. Wait, and I sh should we? Wait, 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 wait. Should we like, you know, make this guy our sidekick? I attack him. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Rejected. I was, like, I was like, no. I say no witnesses, and then I attack. Watching this? Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm watching. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, time to go through stuff. <laughs> Give me the stuff. I hey, remember I, I hit this with my tentacle. I, I look closely at a very broken box. <laughs> Excuse me. So what's in what is salvageable from the box slash beds? So in the box you find two healing potions. The encounter's over, so go ahead and give you guys his full health. Um, so two healing potions, one per person. Uh, we'll go ahead and say 15 gold per person. And let's see about magical items. I haven't put a lot of thought. You said 15 gold? 15 gold. Okay. Oh, I'm going down. The wrong so there's a dagger in there. 
because I know one of you guys wants it so much. Is it broken? It is not broken. What did he break? Let's say there was another health potion in there, but it's broken. Because of his it's, stupid it's Eldritch Blast. Salvage, salvageable, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it's just shattered all over. And there's just it's gross and like it made everything sticky and it's really annoying to clean up. Mind uh, you, I also went and cut all the hands off. With your new dagger? No, maybe. I might just store it just for sneaky seduction attacks. All right. So, did I get hit by the dagger? In this treasure chest, a magical rod that can be held in the offhand of a player or sold for a thousand gold whoa it's really a thousand shiny. gold each or 500 thousand gold total so 500 each what is uh, are we able to determine the use of the rod you are roll an arcana check okay let me do that first blunt uh, before we sell it. it this might be useful for other things well, I was about to throw it away because I was like, this isn't a hand. Yeah, it's dumb, not... dumb. <laughs> it's not a value of all. Oh. Okay, I rolled oh, a 16, 16, so that's pretty high. I don't know if it's nice. high enough. What's the threshold, DM? So Goldilocks, in his knowledge of all things... Arcane determines that this is a low level rod of reaving. The rod enhances the damages dealt to those suffering under your warlock's your warlock's curses. So mm. if and when in your possession, in your offhand, it has to be equipped, you roll a critical, meaning you roll a twenty on your attack you deal an additional eight-sided die of damage. I thought it was going to do damage to him, like, because of his hard past. So, he here's my rationale on this. I think that's more useful than a thousand gold. Hold on. Uh, take a look at your spells real quick. Uh, I mean, I really only have one curse, or whatever you were talking about. So it, it has to be when you use that spell specifically. Right, which would actually encourage me to use it more. Um, so I have Dreadful Word and then also Curse of the Dark Dream. So both of them are, I mean, they're still level one spells, but it's kind of a once a battle and then once a day thing. Oh, Sorry, I misspoke. So the critical, if you roll a critical, it is a D8, uh, D8 additional damage. Uh, however, for every curse you use, regardless of if it's a critical or at least not a failure, you do one damage additional. Mm. Ah, so it doesn't matter. So even, even if you get a 19 or a 3 or a 10 or whatever. It's an extra damage. Okay. Uh, I mean, what, what do you think, Blunt? Um, we are a duo. I say sell it. I don't Our think it's character. worth that much. Okay. You know it's what? It's not a hand. We'll, we'll sell it. All right, you'll have to go to a uh, tradesman for that, though. So okay. it'll be in your inventory, and you can use it. Um, I'll, I'll put it in my inventory for now. I just I, I was digging through trying to look for other stuff since it's all sticky. I threw it behind me, and it almost hits goldie in the foot it just oh. like sticks in the ground it's like twang and goldie's like huh oh, what is what is this thing called what thing just magic rod the dagger of grieving oh, oh it's called a uh, rod of reaving r-e-a-v-i-n-g the rod of re reaving all right so i have uh, one and it i lay down I lay down and take a nap. Its value is 1,000. That was literally one encounter. 
<laughs> it was pretty no, 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 no. tiresome. Okay, I've recorded that. I uh, aggressively run over to Blunt and I slap him in the face. I draw my sword and it's inches away from your neck. We gotta go. <laughs> oh, oh hey. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Why are you sleeping on the floor when there's a perfectly good bed right next to you? I was sleeping on the... I, I'm so big, because I'm such a big guy. <laughs> I'm like half in the bed and half out. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Um, the bed breaks. The bed the breaks. <laughs> okay, right. let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Bye. I think they're still alive somehow. Like, bye, see you guys later. <laughs> All right. Uh, the adventurers head south to where they find a door. A huh. heavy metal cladded door. I go, should I put my shoulder through it? No, no. No. Um, let's let's do a dungeoneering check and find out a bit more about this door. Uh, let me get my... I hope you roll better than last season. <laughs> Because we didn't do well on this door last time. <laughs> like dislocated both your shoulders. I think I hurt myself. How did you recover from that? I popped them back in. The yeah. magic of TGI Friday's mozzarella sticks. Oh my god, mozzarella sticks. They really do. Hey, do you want to eat? Uh, you know, six, uh, six pieces of string cheese. No, that sounds gross. But how about if we deep fry them? Yeah, I could do that as an appetizer. Dungeoneering is a 12. So the door, as you gaze upon it, you run your hand down. You look back at Blunt, and you go, it's made of metal. Oh. There's not much to be said about this door. It is obviously locked and heavily armored. What is behind this door is heavily guarded. Um, I was trying to see if we could peek by using the fog of war. That's why I kept moving it. <laughs> I think I see a skeleton through the peephole. Um, okay, let's... I'm gonna do... Let's light it on fire. No, let's it's it's it. metal. Let's melt the door. I don't think that's gonna work. I think we can melt the door. Before you try that, please just let me do a... Uh, I'm about to do Dragon's Breath. A Streetwise, I'm gonna pick the lock. No, I'll do Thievery. Thievery or Streetwise? Thievery. Thievery. Okay, well... Probably melt in the door. Streetwise is like pickpocket. Well, no, that would be thievery. See, streetwise is like street smarts. No, oh, okay. Actually, I'm gonna Google it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like dealing with like under shady people negotiating with like smugglers and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so here's. I think this here's, is uh, thievery because from the the dungeon's mouth or the dragon's mouth. Uh, the skill is linked to charisma when in a settlement, a village, town, or city. Make a streetwise check to find out what's going on, who the movers and shakers are, where to get what you need. So it's like TMZ. It, Got it. And where. <laughs> <you need that. laughs> oh, God. Carson Daly. <laughs> hey, welcome. Look right, at you. Of, of You're unable to pick the lock. All right. Um, wait. I start getting ready to blow fire on it. Go for it. But let me check my inventory. I thought I saw a brass key somewhere. I go, no worries. And I go... I have a brass key. I'm gonna use it. What does that do to the door? I don't know how much damage a door can take. I mean, it's made of metal, so it's gotta be check the fairly box. un... like... You have all the... Well, definitely a 19 hits. We can agree on that. What would be a metal door? Because, again, I'm, I'm trying to melt it. Maybe loosen it? Uh... Are you targeting uh, the hinge, at least? Or... 19... Um... Uh... Metal door HP. I'm Googling. You know, it's it's not really... Like, I Google. Yeah, I'm looking at different things. Um... 19. I'm looking at iron and steel, and a substance is 19. Yeah, it says, it says that you successfully hit a door. Yeah. 
I hit a door, and I did 10 damage. <laughs> yeah, but what is the health of a door? Probably a little more it than says, 10. It says, look, I'm looking at the armor class. Uh, a, oh, the size of the door. Fragile and resilient. What would you say? Is this a medium door? I'm, I'm looking at the compendium just like you are. I'm looking at... I'm not looking at the compendium. I am looking at the compendium. I say it's a heavy door, and it's resilient, so it has 27 HP. Oh. It's so... I'm going to allow this. We've alerted yes. uh, definitely whatever's on the other side, I'm sure. At this no, point. they just see a very hot door. <laughs> what? They're just like... They're just, Why just is like, it hot? Well, they I don't they know. Touching the door. Have you never watched... Uh, Hello? Have you ever seen the fire safety stuff? You have to touch the door to see if it's hot, because you they, don't know what's on the other side. They don't have fire safety videos in this land. Exactly, so they're not touching the door, they're not noticing anything. Which means and they're any... freaking out. <laughs> no, because they don't know what's going on. I disagree. <laughs> to them, it just sounds like there's wind. And smoke. Like, oh. No, because it's on this side of the door. This is a generous narrative. To no, say the least. I'm, gonna, I'm Googling YouTube videos <laughs> you know what? now. I'm okay with it because he, he has defended the, the point very well. And Fine. I really don't have to come up with a reason uh, to go against uh, hand, Hands are up. I, I submit. Hands are up. It's you know like what? a fire door. It's a fire door. You know what? Go ahead. Blow through it again. Be fly fo fum. That's, no, because now it's Drew's turn. Home. What does he want to do? You're like the big bad wolf. That's right. I, I literally go, your turn. <laughs> I already did. I only get one per action. Or activity. Well, that was my action, not well, to do it's anything. Combat. Um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna okay. And I'm like, what? Well, you How have fire this? too. What the heck? What am I doing? Spewing all my guts fine, out. Fine, fine, to... fine. I cast a some fire on this thing. A hellish rebuke. Jesus. That's Peace. a curse. It's not a curse. Curse the door. <laughs> it's not a curse. curse the door. This is a damnation. This is not a curse. Look, it Look literally me. says, I point my finger at my foe, and they're scoured in hellish flames. Yeah, because of their emotion, which this door has a lot of emotion because it's been touched a lot. I think Cole is killing I think himself. He's, he's, I think he's signaling the steel third. Okay, well, I mean, I think that, or he's trying to get a relief pitcher. I don't, I don't. Okay. Lefty. Jumbo. <laughs> is, is this actually a curse? I think it's a curse because it's based on. So you don't have any fire. I have the player's handbook. <sighs> Man, you, uh... yeah, it's a curse. All right, I'll just do dragon's breath again. Just yeah. yeah. I mean, We'll just leave it there. Do dragon's breath. You miss. How do you miss? How do I miss a door? <laughs> or, or you don't do it like it's supposed to be nineteen. I mean, if we're not doing damage against the door, I'll I'll let you break it down. Just let me think of a way to find a way to that makes sense. Um, I'm now attacking it with my sword. So <laughs> and I'm hitting uh, it with my shield. So, Hellish Rebuke is an at-will power, arcane fire, and an implement standard action. So, oh. it is not a curse. Alright, I you will cast I it then. The door, I then. You then look over at me and go, Hey, I think I got a fire spell. <laughs> is there anybody who could just type out... Never mind. Okay, one sec. It just takes a second to get everything pulled up here. Miraculously, the door, the door is not supposed to have health. <laughs> the door, the door has health. I, the door bursts open completely. And, and can it hits. melt from the inside, like from the center where he pointed his <laughs> no, finger? No, no, just... it was more of a, like a force push. It's like a blast, like a oh, dynamite sort well, of there thing. There goes my Backway. secret. We were going to go through the circle of fire of death. Well, you're being a bit whiny about it and had to have me come in and do it, so. Question. So I, 
Is is uh, Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire about an STD? No, it's about fire doors. Right. Clearly. Okay. All right. So the adventurers can walk into the room. I go. I see a skeleton, and I start looking through the body. It's a skeleton. I'm gonna search this chest. You search the dress? I'm sorry. The trust. The trust? The dress? So you, you just open it? Uh, well, I'm going to use Dungeoneering to determine the safety of this chest. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you glad I said something? Well, that's the only reason I would have thought to do it. Honestly. See, that's why I stick with skeletons. <laughs> okay. Blunt pulls a rib... A rip bone, and it actually create. No, I'm sorry. Jeez, <laughs> oh, that's pretty high dungeoneering there. So you notice on the chest, very faint wire coming out of the back and leading towards the door you just blew off. So the wire goes to you the notice, door. There's no over there. Received such a high dungeoneering check. You notice that if you open the chest. It would release that wire, triggering some sort of trap. Well, I think the door's broken, so I think we're okay. Uh, I think there might be a second door, or a grate. I'm going to use Dungeoneering again to inspect. I'm going to ask our friend. You, you don't need to. What, what do you want to know? Like, Ask me a question and I'll answer it. I want to inspect the door frame and see if there's any sort of holes for a grate to pop up. The I'm door asking Kelly. Came through? Yeah. There are holes for a grate. Ah! So I feel like if we open this chest, we will be locked in here. Which... Kelly the Skelly, what happened? Skelly, what? I'm I'm talking to Skelly while you're doing all this dead like, <laughs> and and she's not she's not responsive. We're we're doing we're doing well. We're we're you know because that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, when you roll a check like that and you succeed, you can ask questions and you can get yeah, answers. Yeah, you nailed it. No, you got you nailed that. Okay, um, can I ask about? The threshold. About about the dungeon. The threshold to the south. What is that? Uh, to the to the south, you notice an extremely thick, massive gate door. I mean, it is this is heavy duty stuff. It would take a lot of damage in order to open. Does opening the chest lock us in here, but open that door? Say oh. that again. You broke up a little bit. Does opening the chest? Activate the grate, but open the big ass door. There is no wire heading to the big ass door. Um, what? <laughs> Incidentally, there is artwork on the door frame of naked women showing off their uh, badonkadonks. It is the big ass door. <laughs> it is accurate. And there's a couple donkeys in there too. Big ass door. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> um, the numbers, Mason. What do they mean? That's, that's, I don't know. Um, I'm opening the chest. I'm still talking to, to Kelly. To I stare into the abyss of Kelly's eyes as I wonder how hard she fought to make it so far. If world left her here, or should I help her be free? There's some I grammar throw, issues I throw here. Kelly at the gate. <laughs> All right, so you open up the chest. An iron rock gate shoots down from the ceiling and blocks you in. Okay. I so. clutch Kelly close. <laughs> Comic relief. Okay, that's it. You start to hear uh, stone gears turning oh. as the trap has been set. There are small holes in the wall that begin to produce small spears, and the walls start closing in, slowly. 
Scheiße. Ähm, uh, does my engineering check still apply? Yes. Uh, what what, what else check. is there about this door besides the 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 big ass women and other things? I'm gonna try to push on the on the wall one of the walls to see if I can break these gears. <laughs> All right, strength check. You're not strong enough to break Damn. that wall. <laughs> However, because of your dungeoneering check, you notice to the southwest of this room, there is a small great opening. And when you look down, you can see the physical gears moving. Put Skelly in there, Blunt. Uh, her name is Kelly. Whatever. <laughs> and I take what's left of her body because I already tried to like stop one of the spears from hitting me with her skull. I take her arm and I throw it and it lands on Goldie because I missed. <laughs> Why do you miss? Alright, I, 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 I it, it lands on me. I, I brush it off and I, I stick the femur in the gears. The femurs stick, but the femurs stick, but begin to start shaking. It's obvious that the bones will not hold forever. Um, That's the noise. What about a lot of bones? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So we've what stopped. Do we do? We've what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What we've do we do? stopped it temporarily. Um, is there a room in this great? to fit a person or is it just simply a mechanical shaft it's, it's a mechanical shaft okay shaft. we're never gonna fit in that hole the femur begins to snap and as it snaps just slightly it catches again but the walls move ever so slightly towards you oh uh, what do we do with this door are there any I other grates in there's this naked chicks. There's that naked is the chicks only great the, the only way out of this room it seems is through the giant big ass door I'm gonna should knock I, on it. Should I catch it on fire? Trick or treat! <laughs> I'm literally just gonna knock on the door. Kong, kong, kong. There is no answer. Um, I have a brass key. I try that. Oh. Right as the femur snaps, and the doors once again begin to close in, the door unhinges or unlocks and is free to open because of the key or just because of coincidence because of the key okay get out of here blood <laughs> it's like star wars <laughs> and i try to do a sweet indiana jones move where i try to grab kelly's arm but i miss and she just gets crushed oh there's deuterinos in here the kobolds attack and try to flank I'm still facing backwards because I was like, oh my gosh, got it! <laughs> okay. Uh, how do they attack? With their spears. The first one misses and sticks his spear into the ground with a critical failure. The second oh. one uh, hits blunt. I'm sorry, hits Goldie. <laughs> with I am my back is to him. I'm at almost a ten damage. damage. Ten damage? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, this is a third of my health. <laughs> Alright. Screw I these guys. Around. I turn around and I scream out for Kelly and I do a sure strike. You successfully do eight damage to the cobalt. Yes. All right. The one nearest me, I cast a hellish rebuke. So Goldilocks points his fingers and his foes flames, stoked by his own anger and pain. Does six damage. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. 
Okay. Uh, now what, what what do they do? Uh, first one misses. And once again, the second one misses as well. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind, the first one does not have a weapon anymore. Because nice. of... It's, it's, it's stuck in the, in the dirt. Because of Blunt's attack? Well, because of his poor right. attack. He critically failed. Because all of a sudden, he's just sitting in this room having a nice uh, piece of spaghetti. Sp- uh, spaghetti. Sudden, Bolognese. Speaking of which, I have not came in. So I, I then I decide to try to push him back so I can help Blunt, because I knew he got hit pretty hard by his... Uh, You're Blunt. ...whale. Uh, Goldie, sorry. I'm dyslexic. This is a fact. Uh, uh, you are unable to push back with your shield. He's a nimble little man. I cast another hellish rebuke on the character nearest to me. Once again, he's able to deal... Uh, seven damage. There you go. Hey, you're getting it. The dice. I mean, I, I think that's. Yeah, really... you're hitting that button a lot better now. But I'm glad you finally came back around. <laughs> I do a little twirly twirl and then click. Um, seems to be doing the trick. It's like a batter. You have to have your. You you do a twirly twirl. With his finger. With his finger? No, Bingo. with my mouse. Goldie loop <laughs> off with your you mouse. Do. Uh, never mind. Yeah, I take a rat out of my cloak and I twirl it around by its tail, and well, then I cast a... a spell. You have a cloak. Where did you get a rat? They're everywhere, Norwegian rats. Yeah, oh, God, aren't they? <laughs> don't, don't remind me. Oh God, they're so annoying. Anyways, <laughs> what did, what did the lizards do? So the first first lizard attacking Blunt tries to go hand to hand combat, completely turns himself around, leading for a coup de gras. Uh and the second one is gonna hit uh, a, a critical damage and do eighteen. Oh, to me? To you? Oh my god. To Goldie? To Goldie. So Rip. 28. Rip Goldie. What's your health? Uh, well, I'm not I'm not dead, but let me see here. Okay. You said 18? 18. He, he critically hit you. Uh... Rip. <laughs> this is the end. So if, if you look at the number I'm holding up. That's how much I have left. <laughs> so you let out an even more whale of a scream. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my leg! So I, I... Hold on, I have to go to the death and dying uh, portion of the player's handbook real quick. Well, I do a crushing blow on my guy, because I'm like... Wait, 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 wait. Up. hold up. He's, he's dead. Oh, he's dead? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, in that case, I turn around and I go, "Oh my god!" And I wait. saw this stab, and I see a lot of deep red coming out of uh, his little cloak. But wait, wait, wait! Hold up. Hold Let's bounce back because I took damage before my first hellish rebuke. Right. You did ten. So the target takes one d six plus Constitution fire damage if I take damage in the next turn. So they take additional damage plus my seven. Ooh. Right? Is that correct? Someone's been paying attention. Eight. He's right. So I could do a one D six? No, I just I just rolled you it did. for you. Okay. Um So you do really well. Because I rolled the six. Does that kill him? And then you get an additional seven damage. Is that what you're saying? Target takes. I mean, look at the description of my hellish rebuke. Uh, oh, I already taken the seven off. So, so okay, yeah. He's not dead yet, but he is. Uh, 
He's bloody big time. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me let me go ahead and read from the player's handbook, uh, Death and Dying. Uh, dying. When you hit zero, uh, when your hit points drop to zero or fewer, you fall unconscious and you are dying. Any additional damage you take continues to reduce your current hit point total until your character dies. Death saving throw. When you are dying, you need to make a saving throw at the end of your turn each round. The result of your saving throw will determine how close you are to death. Less than ten, you slip one step closer to death. 10 to 19, no change. 20 or higher, you spend a healing surge. And when you do so, you are considered at zero hit points. Don't worry. I got this, little man. Okay. Crushing blow. Death. When you take damage that reduces your current hit points to your bloodied value expressed as a negative value, your character dies. Can I be resurrected? Yep. In rituals, however... The kobold that just dealt the, the, the blow notices that the other kobold has been slaughtered. Screams and runs. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Moved the prop. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I'm the giant go. grate. Ah! <laughs> and then we fight another he, door. He opens up the grate and scurries down into the bellows below. Aww. And then I'm like... Holy crap, Goldie, are you okay? You don't look good. I mean, I'm fine now that the battle's over. I feel at full health, some might say. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. You got messed up, man. You're not out of the thick of it yet, because soon after, you hear a loud roaring from the grave. Uh... Well, we don't need to explore that. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I start carrying Goldie to the front door. So, um, oh, wait, no, we're trapped. Crap, we can't go back. Yeah, in we there. can't go back. Yeah. So, so the um, because you opened up the door, it has released the the trap. So you, the the room is safe. Okay. However, the grate pops open. Oh, great! Oh no. <laughs> And you Goldie, see get behind me. Goldie, get behind me. Emerge. What emerges? It's tall. Scaling. Cobalt master. Oh my. Oh my. Oh! I only saw, I couldn't see much of him because of the shadow of war. I take a potion. Oh my gosh, that's that's really scary. How many okay. uh, hit points does that return? I'm immediately going to do a dragon's breath, so that way I'm hopefully going to do like a covering fire. Literally. Ha <laughs> ha Covering fire. Get it? You're not laughing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. This D&D this &D is uh, recorded in a live studio audience. All right, I do dragon's breath to try to... Wait, no, we have to do rolls. So Wait, hold first. up, hold up. I take a potion. How much does that give me? No, we have to do initiative. No, we don't. It's a minor action. <laughs> no, we have to see who goes first. <laughs> uh, so the, the, I'm just going to go ahead and say the health potion to bring you back to full health. Okay, I'm back at the... There is only two of you. I don't care. You know, people might for, the record, for the record, he the does a double... He pumps... <laughs> He pops two corks of potions and he chugs them. <laughs> I only have two. I take one. <laughs> you just shotguns it. He he cracks a glass bottle, pops the cork and like with glass going into his system because it's gonna heal him anyway, and just downs it. Okay, cool. Well, so I'm. I'm... You did that. As soon as the gate opens, you just pound one. <laughs> That's awesome to think about. Just like, oh crap! Go, 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 go. Well, I don't want to have to roll for my life at least initially. <laughs> like, sure, if I take hits during the battle, but uh... instead of dying in some romantic place, you're dying in a dungeon behind me. <sighs> romantic. Before we do this, um, I'm going to use the restroom. Oh, okay. What spell is that? It's an automatic D twenty crit into the toilet. Um, 
D20 shit? <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> All right. <Bye> -bye. <laughs> Is this the last boss? For now. Okay. Because, yeah, it's, I was like... This, I'm, yeah, I'm you go to bed after this. The end of the, the end of this chapter. Which really has... has <laughs> it's been an hour and a half and we've done basically two encounters and one trap. Trap. One puzzle. <laughs> well, you know, we were rusty. We needed to kick the rust off. We wanted to, you know... Oh, I appreciate the dialogue a whole lot more because now I realize I don't really have to design or build a whole lot. Okay. All right, let's get it. So who goes first? Uh, go ahead and roll uh, for initiative. Initiative. Oh, please. Oh, please, Mother Initiative, give me strength. Uh-oh. It won't let me roll. I'll have to do d20. Well, let me see if I can do it for you. I got it. Oh! oh. Well, it's not, it's not just oh. a d20. I'll take it. it. I'll take it. Yeah, you're, take at, it. you're at the top, because I'll, I'll count the crit, but, uh... Let me see. Oh, I can't do it either, by the way. I don't I don't know why you all can't. But, uh, I don't know. Well, it said it's something different than what it usually says. This one just says looking for a value of a token, but no tokens are selected. That's what mine says. And I don't remember it saying that last time. Yeah, your initiative well, did work. Yeah, it did. Uh, but I'm not sure what happened. We may have to revisit the macros. So I, I clicked it for Goldilocks, but so I'll count the 20. Um, because oh, yeah. so Blunt rolled a 20 Goldie rolled a 19 I rolled an 18 Oh Oh boy So he's he's on the game he, He's on the ball That stupid, uh, that stupid lizard guy That stupid lizard guy Narked on us That's what I say like Goldie <laughs> The lizard that got away Knocked on so I'm I'm pissed. So I immediately throw fire in his face. Oh no! Ooh, reflexes. Fortunate thing is that uh, your your friend is behind uh, <laughs> behind you. Yeah. I think I'm still scared by how big this thing is because I'm only seeing like his arm in screen. You so accidentally I... inhale some of the flame. Oh no! Causing, causing two damage. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast as I do have okay. equipped in my offhand that um, that staff uh, I'm going to cast the curse of the dark dream on obviously the the one guy that's here for the record Goldie was laughing at me because I inhaled my fire yet he also is spitting out glass <laughs> 25 <laughs> damage. Yeah, whoa, man. whoa. You whoa. missed. But that's against Will. I you miss. Missed. Uh... You missed. It's a nine. Oh my god! I see the most beautiful, majestic spearhead of a of a an attack. Oh. Oh my gosh! I see the Grim Reaper himself and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse ride by my head, only to <laughs> dazzle into the wall. Oh my god. Well. Prepare for the pain. Oh, here comes! Here it comes! Here comes the pain train. Here comes the pain. I'm hoping my shield of fingers will. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I'm sure he's not at all. Oh my god! I didn't realize how big he was. Because <laughs> he's hiding. Oh, he's going straight for you. He's right in my face. At least you're tanking properly this time. Uh, <laughs> 
well, I'm in position. Luckily, I pushed you behind me because I was like, "You're you're messed up, man." Do I get to try again on that particular spell? Given it did not hit. If it fails, I'll yeah. Okay. Simply, I feel like if we were a full party, it'd be different. And he swings, but catches on his foot, and he, he hits right between you two and misses both of y'all. Quick! Uh, attack him, uh, slice at his, his hamstrings, or his, his Achilles. I'm doing a crushing blow. I'm gonna go right for his uh, elbow. We could chop his arm off? I'm gonna try to. You miss. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to cast the same spell. Simply because I want to get these That's curses the up on them. That's the biggest damage we've ever seen. And I missed. Um, what? No. Uh, it's 19. I feel like this one will actually hit. Goldilocks. Closes his eyes and begins to chant a certain spell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. From his words, spirits <laughs> few. And he inflicts a waking nightmare upon his enemy so that no longer so that his enemy can no longer tell what is real and what exists only in under its influence. The monster staggers around trying to avoid falling from imaginary height. The monster shifts back onto the grate. Oh, we should try and knock him down this thing. Does he fall? Wait, where are the hinges? Oh, wait. The hinges are on the far side. Okay, well, we have an option. We can go the smart way and just keep attacking him directly, or we could be idiots and try to break hinges. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there. He has three times the points of anything you've ever caught. Okay, yeah, we're going for the hinges. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna. No, no, no. I go. I go. You figure this out on your. Oh, no, since we're already talking about it. I'm gonna distract him and keep him on the grate. Well, and I, I have a, a spell that I can use to actually get right. me over well, there. I'm gonna, and do, like a... I'm gonna do a covering attack. Like, blank him. I'm not supposed to tell anything. Sorry. Covering attack. Ooh. But see, like, but that allows him, that allows Goldie to move around a little bit. You know, I should him. really, honestly, be keeping track of his health counts. Well, yeah, you should. I also, just did an aggro char. How many squares can I move per turn? I think six. Okay, one, two, three. And you started on the level that I was on the road. Four. That I was. Five, six. Okay, so I moved six. So I'm distracting him. Is that a, that's, that's a minor action, right? So in Blunt's attack, he launches a dizzying barrage of thrusts at his enemy, compelling him to give Blunt all of his attention. Under the cover of his ferocious attack, one of his allies can safely retreat from that same foe. I think it gives you like an additional three spaces. One, two, three. And I'm yelling about how I seduced one of his guards, and then I killed him. I, uh, I think I'm next, correct? No, you both just went. Okay, well I guess it's uh, Lizard's turn. I wonder who he's gonna. I wonder who he's gonna attack. He's gonna attack you. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's really not that much of a mystery. He does eleven damage. Oi! He swings right. his hammer down and pierces off a couple pieces of armor, damaging uh, or throwing out <laughs> your unused shoulder. Yeah, I didn't need it. You were just gonna throw it into a. I still got thirty day. I, th I still got thirty HP. I'm good. I'm I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm, you still have thirty after I took off eleven. Yeah. 
Why are you ever in the forefront? Dude? I'm always in the front. It's just not, Goldie not always. I'm talking about your counterpart. You should never be at the front. I, I am know. your typical World of Warcraft warlock, just taking aggro all the time. Why do you think I like always put my shoulder through the door? Because I'm trying to attract all the attention in the room. And Goldie's like, no, no, I'll I'll talk to him. Don't worry. <laughs> Can I seduce this guy? <laughs> oh. Hey. No, he is. He is. Okay. You cannot look into his eyes. They are I don't think he eyes. can seduce There's... because I already told him that I seduced one of his guards and, and killed him. All right. I'm going to I'm going to target the uh uh the North Great Hinge with a hellish rebuke. There's two hinges, so he's not going to trap me. Ooh, nice. The first hinge is weakened. Ah. <laughs> that's good. No, no, no. That's good. That's good. If they're both weakened, this fat guy will will make him fall. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll try hitting the next one. Just make sure you warn me. <laughs> I mean... Cause, cause are I'm going to have to take a disadvantage, so I don't know how much more time I have. I'm trying, I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> I'm just literally... Okay. I uh I can't do a tide of iron because I'm gonna push him back onto your face, so I'll just do a sure strike. Seven damage. Keeps his ha. attention. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> he hits again. <laughs> Deals 10 damage. Shit, okay, now I'm a little bit in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 20 health. Alright, I'm, I'm about to... Um... <laughs> I'm poking him. He slams me in the face. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna you know, use... I've got a couple of your incisors. Definitely some teeth. Definitely some teeth spat out on that one. I attacked no, the, like... the second hinge. I should have got a helmet. Blunt, roll an athletics check. Okay. Bo -bo boy Come on. Come on. Oh! <laughs> oh no, what happened? I don't like the The second laugh. hinge is, is weakened. Both the hinges break with blunt on, uh, on top of the grate. He rolled a 10. Oh, no. So at the very last minute, right as the, the whole grate was falling down and to their death, he backflips and grabs yes. on both hands <laughs> to the edge of the wall as oh, the my. Cobalt King falls and screams. Oh my god, I thought death. the Cobalt King rolled a 10. <laughs> oh. I rushed Holy. over. <laughs> Holy cow. I thought I was gone. He was okay. I, oh I, I pick Blunt up. Oh, hey. <laughs> I, I, hey, thanks. I, I drag him out of the pit. <laughs> I think, I'm like, I think there's something wrong with my tooth. And I'm like, tonguing all these holes that have been knocked out. <laughs> like, I don't have time for a happened. dentist. <laughs> something happened to my teeth. Eh, they grow back. I'm like an alligator. I am the pet. That guy fell down the pit. I'm gonna do these little spittles of, of fire. I pulled Blunt out of the pit. Can I throw a sunrod to see how far it is? I'm gonna throw a sunrod. I throw a sunrod to see how far it goes down. Uh, you you lose the sunrod in the darkness. You oh, can okay. you can go down the tunnel. Um, no, I'm however. Good. With the kobold king uh, killed, effectively, uh, the kobolds will fight amongst themselves and destroy whatever structure of livelihood they had. Um, okay, yeah, we got to get out of there. Um, there might be treasure down there, however, I don't have that built. I don't care about the treasure. I don't want to go down there. It sounds like it's a civil war in the uh, in the kobold 
in the Cobalt uh, Cinematic Universe. So you know, and it, it didn't start off about slavery, but uh, it, it it eventually became. It's certainly slavery. escalating quickly. It, it is uh, escalating quickly. I mean, how do I how do we get out? Is this door still trapped? No, it opened. How did it open? Because we uh, got through the other door. The gate is still down. Oh. Uh oh. See, we're trapped in here. I think uh, I think we'll have to come back next time. The good news is the trap is disabled. Oh, the trap is disabled, so the trap is okay. Oh, I thought that was the other gate. True, so don't we, be so sad. So we can escape. Yeah, we can escape, right? No, sure. There's still a gate there, but uh, I I forgot to mention that there was uh, half of a lever missing on the outside. And I forgot oh. to mention this because I literally just thought of it. Oh, hey. Oh, look at it. Hey, Goldie, look at this lever. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I mean, like, there is the part of the lever that you could put the, the rod in to maneuver it. But you're missing oh, yeah. the part to maneuver it. Am oh, I? Face, you need the, the arm. Yeah, I'm going to put my scimitar in there. Scimitar does not fit. I'm going to put the rod that we gathered earlier in there. Mm -hmm. The rod does not fit. Um, do any of I'm Kelly's bombs fit? I'm gonna put my hand in there. Don't your hand, hand? You break your finger. Ah! Ah! Goldie. What's 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 the one thing that you did but never saw? It's right Kelly's there. murderer. Not no. You don't know how. First off, that is the skull of a man. But sure, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly's a man's name too. Yeah, you just <laughs> assume. You just, I'm sorry. You just assume that skeleton's gender. This is a make-believe world. I will assume whatever the hell I want. I rule. Well, this. I'm assuming it's a woman. <laughs> okay. I love her. It's a woman. I'm at a loss. Um, I I checked the chest again. The cobalt. The the cobalt fingers. In the chest, you find uh, the lever arm that will get you out of the room. Okay, I use the lever arm. <laughs> oh. And I've been sticking little bloody fingers in there. This, that, <laughs> Including your own, by the way. Yeah. As well as, one sec. Okay, I'm going to lose one of the blue hands because of that. I mashed it in there for like a uh, lubrication of the gears. You, uh, it, within the, um, looking at magical items again. Give me a second. Uh, you find a pair of boots that have a ma magical aura around them. Hmm. How cute are they? They're they're pretty cute. They're out of season. What color? They're red. <gasps> oh, do they fit my fat feet? They fit whoever's feet put on. <gasps> what what does it do? Well, Goldie found them. I was playing with a lever. What does it do? I don't know. They're magical boots. Roll an arcana check. <sighs> okay. Uh, Fine. <laughs> tired of these rolls. It makes sense. I get it. It's it's fine, really. It just takes a second to get to things. So you determine that these are. Uh, these are what are known as cat step boots. Uh, these enhanced boots reduce falling damage and enhance your acrobatics and athletic skills. They take place over your feet in your item slot. They're worth 700 gold pieces total. And when, he, when he tells me this, I go, don't need it, and then I try to do a flip. Ah! Oh! Ah! 
If you were to ever fall or jump down, you only take half your normal damage, and you always land on your feet. I think Blunt should take as these. A daily power and a free action, meaning you can use it at any time once a day, you gain a plus five bonus to your next acrobatics or athletics check. I think you need them. Because you need to be more agile. <laughs> well, I mean, you're in the thick of it usually, is my thought. Right, but I don't need to be agile. I'm built to be... I'm jacked. Okay, fine. I'll take them. I will... Mind you, I also slipped on my own blood. That's why I slipped. I, I tried to do a flip, and I slipped off the blood pooling off of me. Inventory... <laughs> Okay, what are they I'm called again? Incorporating more um, magical items. What, what are they called again? What's that? What are they They're called, called again? Puss in boots. Cat step. Puss in boots. Yeah. Does that mean anytime he falls, he always lands on his feet? Yes. We need to try this. No, he has to fall from a distance. It's not like he's tripping over and then immediately landing. No, I'm gonna throw him. Distance. Cats I'm do pick that. Him up and throw him. So, like, he could jump off of a cliff, land on his feet, and only take half damage. So he'll still die. <laughs> he will still die, but he only takes half damage. He would still die, but. So what if I damage. pick him up and throw him across the room? Will he land on his? I'm feet? leaving. Yes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> the the cobalt. I forgot. All right, uh, this is this is kind of a stopping point. We can continue. Oh no, I that's have... fine. I gotta go to bed. I was like, it's like ten o'clock your time, isn't it? Yep. It's All it's right. it's, it's Betty time. So I, I I mean I've got something planned up. Uh... <laughs> Dungeon took forever. <laughs> The adventurers are starting to realize that the island is deserted. Uh, there is a couple of structures that have been abandoned that they have seen just in passing. Um, and whatever their intentions are with the island, are there? Well, I'm going to... I'm Since I've never been this... I'm, actually, I've been damn this much before. I make a little fire. I prop up my shield... And I roll and just pass out, but like, not in a very nice way. I just like collapse onto the, mm, <laughs> onto yes. the ground. I'm like, Goldie, take first watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. All right, cool. Well, um, I'm out of beer. This is uh, an installment to Dark Lord's Fury Two Electric Boogaloo. They're fiendish. Choppy, boogaloo. It ended with smarts. Yeah, it it did, and uh, we'll we'll be back, uh, hopefully next week. Although we'll see. It's always kind of a mix, um, and continue. So, thank you for joining us this week, and we'll see you next time. Have a dragon day. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. <laughs>